Diebler took over. First game as a head coach, they beat Purdue. Kick into the corner, and already the three for Jamison Battle, who Mike DeCourse is into the three games, gonna have a big game. That's not just during the games, too. Jamie Diebler saying it's in practice. Yes. In walking to the bathroom. Three falls as well. Roddy Gale hits, and it's an early 6 0 lead. Battle, contested three pointer. Two Buckeyes were there. Akpara puts it in, and an opportunity to put the Buckeyes up nine at the line. Could you take <laughs> one from anywhere on the floor? One foot to 94 feet. A bullet. That's as close as you can get. Another look, and that banks in. Good find, and an easy finish. With Zephyr Moore in foul trouble, Emmanuel Agbole has done a terrific job of energizing them both on the defensive and the offensive ends of the floor. Well, they rolled, Simpson found Williams. Hyatt takes the three, and finally knocks one in. So hopefully they can get that done. He's still on the bench with two fouls. Jeremiah Williams is on the floor with two fouls. And Dale Bonner knocks in a triple. In his Rutgers career when he had 17 against Ohio State in early January. Nice. Lost his defender. Drills a triple. Rutgers back within six. How about the patience there and not rushing by Fernandes, giving himself the, an opportunity to knock down a much-needed three for Rutgers. Orton with the floater over the outstretched arm. Nice. Far with the roll and the floater, and Ohio State has stretched its lead back to 10. Williams looking for the lob, settles for the jumper. And Jeremiah Williams has his first point. Into the corner, high for three. That banked. Not in, though. Amore, the offensive putback counted. And it's not like you only went twice. They had the play drawn up. They just couldn't get the pass to Amore. Buckeyes in transition. The floater in the lane is there for Gale, and it's back to nine-point lead. The Rutgers could be able to attack the rock. That's exactly what happened there. 14 points in the paint for the Scarlet Knights. Two point Ohio State lead. They go back to Akpara. In and out of the lineup the entire month of February. Down to five on the shot clock. Hyatt launches. Michael Davis was there to catch it, couldn't put it in. He got the swipe, picked his pocket, and dunked. Eric Simpson has only played eight minutes so far. It's the back iron himself. Gale on the drive, somehow scooped that in. It's nasty. Felix Akpara, their leading scorer today with 10, is on the bench with three fouls. Into the corner, Gale for three. And now he's got double figures. Love the push. You get another one. Griffiths on the break. Blocked by Mahaffey. And he's trying to keep it on the baseline. Brings it all the way back out. Down to four, and he gives it away. Middleton off to the races, lays it in, and the Buckeyes have their largest lead of the day. To the paint, nice wrap around, find a Royal. What a beautiful cut by Royal. One that wasn't considered a jump ball, really set a negative tone for Rutgers today with the Fomori. They break the press beautifully, and Royal with a flush. And that's exactly what we talked about, is when you break that press, you break it to score. And that was beautifully executed by the Buckeyes. Jeremiah Williams finally able to get one to go. Now the juice might be out of this building here with four minutes to go in the ball game. It is certainly not out of the Buckeyes. Found something different here in the last month. Another three for Bonner. As Rutgers did early in this game, Ohio State is making them pay. The steal, Bonner in transition. As Ohio State's gonna finish off the regular season with a large win on the road. 73-51, Jake Diebler improves to five and one as interim coach.